Hello everybody. Welcome to the show. All right, this is a part two of a series. My first video was uh, filmed about a month and a half ago um, in March. And this is a follow-up. This is the part two, April, about a month and a half later. So I wanted to show you guys the changes that have been made since the last video. So you can see uh, I did build a planner here. And a lot of the uh, things that were um, in pots I put into this planner, you can see. I got my uh, cabbages, which were real small last time. Um, this is a potato. Um, tomatoes. So we're going to go through and just harvest what we can. The sun's going down and I want to make a salad. So we got lettuces. So I think what I'm going to do is pick some lettuces, some Russian red kale. So we got enough to snack. You always want to be eating plenty of your vegetables every day. So let's see what else we can get. So we're going to get that. I got a plate. And we're going to start loading some things up. So hold on one second, I'll, I'll give you a wide shot of this. Here we got the avocado tree, so we're not going to be harvesting any of this, but we do have new growth. We can look up close to all that new growth. So this avocado tree is really kicking in nicely. So no fruit, so we're going to be doing mostly um, vegetables. So, here we got some carrots. Let's go ahead and do this. Now these carrots have been in here a long time. And they are definitely due to be finished off. Um, I had six of these, so I've been going through these for the last month. So this is the last batch. And eventually they just kind of stopped growing. So I'm going to shit watch this. These don't grow that deep. You can see they don't grow very deep at all, but this will be our part of our harvest. So, ooh, look at that, got one big carrot in the middle. So again, this is the Scarlet Nantes uh, variety. So we got, we will add this to our harvest I'm gonna we'll do some samples um, that's a big one so at the end we'll sample everything let's just go ahead and put this that's nice okay so let's set this over here okay so let's get some we're gonna make a salad later I'm gonna wash all these off but I'm just gonna grab some of these. In fact, it's, it's easier to use a pair of scissors, but it's easier to, to use two hands, but I have to film. So let's just get some, these are the, uh, I believe these are charred, either charred or radish. So if I pull that up, there'll be, I think there's a radish under there. Okay, we got some tomatoes. Yeah, I can get plenty of lettuces, but I want to show you guys that I'm starting to get my tomatoes here in April. So it's still basically springtime, late spring. Uh, look at this. Look at that, it's beautiful. That big. This is the uh, sun gold. I think I showed you guys these last time. So if you watched the first video, these are just pretty much my first ones that are getting ripe. I could probably let them go a little longer, but for sampling reasons, let's just take a few. Ooh, there's another one. So once they start getting ripe, you want to start eating them. I'll let this go. I'll pick. They don't come off real easily, and they should be a little darker. Um, but that's fine. You can go a little orange. I don't like them too soft. 
but those are looking very good. So look at all these clusters we got. Clusters here. You know, there's just clusters everywhere for me. So the sun gold I really highly recommend. Um, this is the other other one I was telling you about, the uh, wild cherry. This one grows real tall. Doesn't seem to have as big of clusters. They're a little more spread out. Um, so just dump those here. Um, these lettuces I need to kind of get in there with scissors. So I've been having salads actually probably two or three times a week, pretty big salads. So most of these are actually um, a lot smaller because I've been hacking them down. So you want to get in here um, with scissors ideally, but you just kind of break them off with your finger as well. This is the Russian red red kale. It doesn't look red, but the colors are just beautiful. All these blues and greens, um, the lettuces. I've been again. I was. As I was saying, I've been picking off this, these plants for maybe a month and a half, two months. So I've been getting salads for two months since that last video you guys probably saw. Um, if you haven't seen it, you can go back and watch the one, the first one. And things were smaller, but so I've been getting free food, or not free food, but organic, delicious food. For or since March, so oh, I have peppers too. I want to get those. So I'm not gonna get everything right now, but I just want to show you guys, you know, how much I can get if I really wanted to. And what I usually do is once I get my vegetables, I will kind of dunk them in some water, um, like a like a large um, container of water to kind of rinse off, make sure there's, there's no uh, bugs or dirt residue. So we got peaches here, but these are not ripe yet. So we're going to we're going to just continue looking what we have. So this is looking pretty nice. Um, little sample platter. I could obviously get a lot more. Oh, look at over here. Look at those peppers in there. There's like 10 of them here. Ooh. Jeez, they're so packed together. I don't know if you can see that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's my jalapenos, a bunch of little jalapenos for me. Look at that. Wait, ooh, right there. I believe these are jalapenos. Yeah, look at that right there. Uh, yeah, so they look kind of short. Maybe they'll get longer. Okay, so those are good to cook with. Add some spice to your, your meals. And I'm gonna actually probably try transplant this. Because everything is getting too crowded in here. I want to... I got way too much in one 15-gallon pot. You know, I always recommend... Try to think in advance how big things are going to get. So you don't overgrow your pot. And then it'll dry out very quickly. Because plants are taking out so much moisture so quickly. You know, each one is competing for the nutrients and the moisture. So I'll probably try to, I don't know if it's too late, but to separate the roots of each one. I have a lemon tree here in the middle as well. Beautiful lemon tree. So with lemons, so I have a lot going on in one pot with all these cucumbers. I can't really harvest any cucumbers yet, but look at this one's already getting heavy. It's got a bunch of cucumbers on it. So I already tried actually some of these little ones. Very tasty. 
I'm not sure the variety of that, so we can't really sample that one. A fig, pomegranate. Last time it was just sticks. This is uh, the Palm Wonderful. So every, you've heard of the Palm Wonderful juice. Well, that's the pomegranate that it comes from. Okay, then we got a pear. So what else? I think we got most of the vegetables. Oh, snap peas. I don't want you to forget about these ones. This is the most exciting thing because these are so, what I really recommend during the this time of year, the spring when it's not too hot. These snap peas are so tender. Let me just go ahead and get some of these. So let's keep looking around for some more snap peas. Oh, they're, they're kind of blend in, so they're, they're green. Same color, so you just, there's actually a lot of them. You see, you can kind of see them hanging there. So you want to wait till they swell up, until they get round, like if you look at it sideways. But for this sake of, I've been, I've been eating probably like five a day, so they're really starting to come in right now. Let me just take a bite of this. Now they'll get bigger than this, but um, they're real juicy, real delicious, delicious and sweet. Um, some of them tend to be more flat for some reason, but typically they tend to will swell. And you can kind of see the beans kind of growing inside there. Watch what happens when I pop that open. Uh, yeah, this one's about right. You don't want to go too long because they lose. Oh, see, now it's getting stuck. I, I need to do this with two hands. But these are something I really would recommend. Look at this. These are so good. These are like little candies. Like, um, you definitely should try to grow these and just just like coming home and having a piece of candy it's a very healthy one so I'm gonna try that again yeah it's very good put that there any more let's just pick a couple more and then I think let's see what else we have in the garden So, sorry about the loud music. I'm down here, kind of live near the ocean, so there's a lot of tourists with their stereos. But anyway, um, got the the garden here. It's just about it. Fruit trees. I think we covered everything. Um, pretty soon we'll have some peaches gonna be I, I already tested some of them they're not they're still hard so this is gonna take some time a little bit cloudy today or this afternoon but nice day in the garden anyway so I hope you guys enjoyed this this was part two the second harvest of the year in the garden and it's only April so let's do a quick sample of this Wow, very good. Let me take a bite into this carrot. Wow. Carrots are just like, it's so solid, like a, like, like a piece of uh, the density of it. It's unlike anything you would, you're gonna find in the store and in the, in the taste. Just really amazing, really amazing. So yeah, I'd highly recommend those. Let's try the uh, the tomato. That's the wild, wow, incredibly sweet. Very good. This is the um, the other one. Let's try this the sun gold. Wow, that's a different flavor. Almost like a sugary. Um, definitely a different taste. Uh, really a punch of, of flavor. So both of those tomatoes are good. Let's try some of the uh, love this stuff. I've been nibbling on this very healthy kale. 
Wow. Yeah, it's best in the spring when it's tender. You don't want these to get too big and then they get bitter. And with the lettuces, everything actually does really good in the spring because things are more tender. This is, I think, the radish or the, um, the radish leaf or it's the chard. Here it's a romaine. Romaine's pretty common. A lot of red leaf like this. You, it's good to incorporate some dark, rich colors. So anyway, I'll nibble on this and make a salad, the bigger one, with some of my other veggies. So anyway, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this part two. And I will have a part three probably in another month or so. So you guys can see some more food that I'm harvesting. So it should be interesting and exciting. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, do that so you can stay uh, posted on the new videos. All right, we'll see you guys. Enjoy your day or evening and we'll see you next time.